Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, prepare to be amazed. Constant Collectible is coming your way. With hosts Simon and Chad, boys, take it away. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, here we go. Let's do this, shall we? Should we do a show? Wait, you're frozen. I want to see you. Oh, man, I'm frozen. All right, here we go. I've already <sighs> hit record. I don't want to edit. We're going to play with this. Let's go. All right, what's up, everybody? <laughs> this is Simon over at Constant Collectible. And as always, I'm with this guy over here. Look, I even have his name. Hey, everyone. Shut up. Shut up. Hi, everyone. Uh, Chad, goody Goodwin from ConstantCollectible.com. Yes, yes, you are. You tell me to shut up. I can't believe that. I remember when we first started, I would never tell you to shut up. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I say that all the time. All right, so um, many of you are – thanks, right here. Uh, many of you guys are sitting there going, where were you guys last week? Well, we were here. We really were. <laughs> We recorded. We did yes, all that stuff. We were. But I just chose not to press a certain button in order to hear Chad's audio. So, unfortunately, we weren't here uh, last week. Um, so, we have to make up for last week. But we are here this week. Um, so, thanks for waiting for us. You're so patient. We appreciate you. Um, but why don't we? Yes, I am. Yes, yes, you are. I mean, as soon as... Oh, wait. Oh, them. I'm yes, sorry. them. Not you. You're not patient. Are you yeah. kidding me? Um <laughs> so it kind of stinks because as soon as I had finished like you know the editing and stuff I'm like okay let's let's have a listen and started off and all of a sudden all I see is your lips moving and I went oh no you got to be kidding me and I text you as soon as I did that and yeah you didn't talk to me for like a day or two <laughs> <laughs> so but um why don't we jump right into it why don't we go straight I was told if you had nothing nice to say, say nothing. Yeah, that's true. Your mom taught you well. I will say that. <sighs> okay. Well, why don't we jump into the big news? Um, I just, I, I mean, I'm excited because uh, I think it was back on August 19th. I posted on Instagram like, "This is my choice. This is what I want," and uh, my wish came true. We get Donald Glover as Lando Calrissian. Um, so some casting. Danny Glover? Moves. Yes, Danny Glover. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, his younger brother, Donald. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this was reported on, what was it, the 21st of October? Uh, yes, October 21st. came out, and um, for those of you guys who aren't sure who Donald Glover is, if you've ever seen Community... Um, he does a show right now. I think it's on FX called Atlanta, which I haven't seen yet, but I hear good things about it. And I've been wanting to see I it. I have not seen it yet either. And it's, and it's on FX, I believe. And, um, but yeah, I mean, this is perfect. I mean, he looks the part, you know? Yeah. You know, he's, he's got, you know, I think the, the perfect look, you know, you know, the jawline, um, I think he can do, you know, the typical Lando swagger, you know, mm -hmm. that we hear. Yes. You know, kind of thing. So Exactly. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Um, and, of course, uh, some other things that he's been in, uh, he was in the movie The Martian. He was that really intelligent guy who yes. you know, figured out they could slingshot around Earth and go pick him up. Um, uh, um, yeah, community. Uh, because of the Internet. That was what I was trying to think of. Um, Grammy nominated uh, because of the internet, and you're you're playing with cameras again. Yeah, sorry. But uh, I'm trying to fix it so you can um, see me. But uh, the other thing he's getting, uh, you know, big uh, talking about is the upcoming Spider-Man movie, Homecoming. Oh, that's right. I forgot that there was uh, rumblings about that, and um, yes. possibly. A Miles Morales kind of tie in. Um, who right. knows what else could be tying in? So that would be kind of cool. 
but they haven't they haven't said yeah. anything. It's just those those rumors that we like so much. Uh, I thought they confirmed that. Didn't Did they? they? Oh, maybe I just missed it. I don't know. I can't remember. But um, that would be fun. So so yeah, he's gonna be Lando, and this is uh, set to release. In 2018, I believe. Yes, 2018. Um, he has a he has a small cape to fill, or a big cape, which whatever one you want to consider it. A big blue cape. Yeah, a big blue cape. Um, but what what they said though, uh, and I, I wrote it down here, um, and they say it's uh, at a time in their lives previously unexplored. So that kind of makes me wonder what's going to happen in this. Are they, are they not going to follow the Han Solo trilogy and some of his adventures or, you know, what's going to happen? And are we not going to see Han Solo win the Falcon? Film? So I think we need to see at least that everything else you can so play with, but at least need to see how this changes hands. Um, you know, whether they either know each other or that's how they get to know each other. Um, right, but well, um, in the original canon, I mean, they they knew each other very well before that, before that Sabbat game. Okay, all right, but then again, we're we're playing with Disney here. Disney's changing everything up, so who knows? But it would be fun to at least mm -hmm. get that in. We don't need a lot of the other stuff. I, I, I mean, if you think about how Rogue is coming up, and it's a lot of. I don't know who you are. I don't know what this is. I'm looking forward to some of that with some of these other characters and having a Han Solo movie do that because we don't need, we don't know, excuse me, uh, movie wise, we don't know a lot about him. You know, the books, right. you get to know a little bit more about him. And, but we're, you know, Disney and um, Lucas are rewriting that stuff. So who knows where they go? Um, it was, it was kind of funny too. I read an article the other day. That um, it was either earlier today or yesterday, but his mom, Donald Glover's mom, basically told him, "Don't screw up Lando for me." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let's not disappoint mom, all right? Which I don't think he will. Now, yeah, the yeah. big question is: Here's don't mess here's, it up, kid. I know. Here's the big question. Are you ready for this? Hit me. Mustache really. or no mustache? <laughs> <laughs> does he start with it i think mustache you think mustache does he start with or, it or hey you or, know start the film without it yeah and then halfway through yes. the film hey what do you think about this mustache yeah. here, you know <laughs> or or there's that big reveal at the end right before the end of the movie and he has his mustache you know <laughs> yeah. <laughs> who knows who knows but yeah i'm excited what about have we here yeah i know yeah <laughs> hello, hello 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 uh that would be kind of funny but um, th I think good. they've got a good guy to play him. I like his style. I like what he does. Um, and I don't know. I just think it would be, I think it's a perfect casting. I mean, this this was my wish list. And I'm excited that, you know, it happens. Yeah, I think there's, there might be maybe, you know, a few other guys out there who could probably pull it off and mm -hmm. pull off a good, you know, in a good way. But I think, uh, yeah, I think... Uh, I almost said Danny Glover again. Um, <laughs> I think Donald Glover Riggs, would do it. Riggs, a, man, I'm getting too old well. for this shit. <laughs> oh, man, I'm getting too old for this. <laughs> mm. uh, yeah, just as long as we get the Lethal Weapon Danny Glover and not the Predator 2 Danny Glover, we'll be all right. Or those with the new yeah. funk commercials <laughs> where, where he's actually watching himself in those cheesy commercials. No, we don't want that. But oh, um, yeah, those are horrible. Yeah, yeah I no. I cannot wait for this. Um, what's what's kind of neat too is that uh, some of the other stuff that I was reading is that um, they worked some things up because his current schedule of him fi filming Atlanta actually in Atlanta on certain days when he's not filming that they are filming Han Solo in Atlanta, so it works. Yeah. So he's not flying here, right. there, and everywhere. He's local, so. It, I think everything worked out the way it's supposed to, and I I can't wait to see him on screen. Here, there, and everywhere in between. Yes. Oh, look at you, Doctor Seuss. All right, so that's that's that. But uh, let's let's jump into some other Disney news, which I got excited for this when this popped up because I think this is one of my favorite Pixar films, and now. 
they they basically said, you know what, we're going to switch places with a film that you know there's some hiccups with. So Incredibles two has been bumped up a full year, and it has pushed back Toy Story four. But Incredibles two coming from Brad Bird, I mean, the first one was amazing. Um, Brad Bird, I think, is an amazing director uh, for all his animation stuff. I mean, Iron Giant was fantastic. And, uh, but oh, I love that one. Yeah. I mean, and Incredibles is great. I mean, I'll sit down and watch it with my daughter, like constantly, you know, she'd be like, what do you want to watch? Oh, let's watch Incredibles. Okay. You know, I'll be so-and-so and I'll be so-and-so. She, she loves to put us in those roles. It's kind of fun. And so let's Who see. you? Little yeah. boy? Yes. I'm Dash. Um, I'm actually the, the, <laughs> never mind. I'm not going there. Um, so this Probably is a good idea. Yeah, no. So it's getting bumped up. Uh, let's see. It was announced that it will now arrive on June 15, 2018. Whereas in before it was going to be 2019. Um, so that's kind of exciting. I mean, the first one, gosh, I mean, out of all the Pixar movies, that is on the, in my top three. And what was the other one they bumped uh, for this? Toy Story 4. Oh. Yeah, so they bumped that a year back because they were having some issues. But hey, I'm excited that we get this one uh, sooner than later. I would rather see this than another Toy Story, to be honest. But that's just me. That is you. Is uh, it's Pixar. I mean, I think the only Pixar movie that <clears throat> that I wasn't really into was Wally. All the other ones I've actually really enjoyed. But maybe I just need to go back and see it. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, what Brad Bird says, he says... They said, like, they said, uh, I think they said the... Where was it? Uh, elements in the script are connected to ideas that they didn't use in the original. Thing. Yes. So, yeah, this should be interesting. That could be fun, because, I mean, now... I mean, let's examine... You know, now that they've established who they are, I mean, you kind of have an origin, and then they grow into this family years later... Um, they only had one villain, but you know there's others. I mean, the way the first one ended and the Underminer coming up is very reminiscent of Mole Man, you know, from mm -hmm. Fantastic Four. So, you know, there's those spoofs. And um, right. I look forward to seeing what they can create because they have some hilarious character names, you know, um, and superheroes. And I just love the Edna's character, you know, no cape, you know, and then it shows why you don't have no a cape. cape. You know, he gets sucked into an airplane. That's why he don't wear a cape, yeah. you know. Um, I'm looking forward to what kind of fun that they will they Darling, do. I've redesigned for you. Oh, I know. They're, they're going to have new suits. You know they are. I you love it, darling. It'll be good. Um, <laughs> blue is out go with the red yeah I, I just love like you said I mean he had a bunch of ideas and now that they've brought those ideas together um, to be able to tell another story it, it kind of stinks that it took so long but maybe it doesn't because now the story that they'll put out will be just as good if not better than the first one yeah, well, that's the hope. Yeah, you know, so it always is. You always run that risk with you know sequels. You know, yes. are they going to be as good as the original? Yeah, you know, and sometimes you know the sequel is better than the original, mm. but uh, that's Godfather very too. rare. Yeah, so. but um, yeah, I mean, who knows? I mean, how much further in the future is this going to be? You know, I mean, how much older are the kids going to be? Is it going to be the same thing? Is it going to pick up right where it left off? You know, and the underminer comes up and then they beat him up real quick and then go into this new story? Or are we several years down the road? So, uh, you know, when the news is, is out there, I mean, at least we'll, you know, hear about it and we'll report about it. But so far, I'm excited about it. Well, and with the article came that new picture that, you know, showed you know, the logo behind the family with, you know, the two, mm -hmm. but, you know, they all look the same, same edge, you yeah. know, same age with, you know, the little, little, uh, baby Jack, Jack, and Zach or, Jack, Jack, um, Jack, Jack. Yeah. um, yeah. So, uh, of course he had his little, I call it the bandito <laughs> okay. you know, mask. Yes. So we're superheroes, but we look like bandits. It's true, huh? Hmm. So. Never thought of that. Man, we're watching bad guys all along. I know. Dang it. Oh. Disney. <sighs> all right. 
But uh, on to a different genre here and off of Disney for a while. I know. There's like always Disney, Disney, Disney. Disney. Stupid parent company. They don't own us. I swear. Um, back in May, I thought it'd be kind of cool to cover this story. Back in May, I believe it was, uh, Shane Black gave an interview about the new Predator movie. Yeah. Um, titled just that, The Predator. Um Shane Black is a new director, and funny enough is Shane Black was actually in the original cast of The Predator. Um, he was Hawkins, um, the guy with the glasses. He was the first one to get killed by The Predator in the group. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Gotcha. That's awesome. That did you. I did not know that. No. But, uh, you know, this they're not making this a sequel. They're not rebooting. Well, actually they are making a sequel, but they're not rebooting the series, which was a fantastic idea. The other fantastic <laughs> idea is that when Shane said he would do this, uh, he said the only way he would do this is if they made it an R rating, like the original. Ooh. Um, yeah. So, I mean, and this is, you know, obviously, like I said, a different genre than some of the other movies we've been talking about lately. Mm-hmm. This is pure science fiction. Yeah. Um, not fantasy. This is science fiction kind of horror a little bit because um, it is an alien species that, you know, hunts for for trophies. But uh, yeah, so they're they're going with a R rating uh, and they're setting this 30 years after the original. So oh, sweet. Yeah, so we stand a chance of getting maybe <laughs> get to the chopper, get to the yeah. chopper, <laughs> you know, some Arnold in it. That uh, would be nothing. Yeah, nothing's been confirmed, obviously, but yeah. uh, uh, to have him in the sequel would be kind of funny. Um, but uh, there's some interesting facts. Uh, some of the guys, the co-writer is Fred Decker, uh, who did Monster Squad. Oh uh, my gosh. Which was, yeah, it was really cool. I remember that came out. I remember the original Predator came out. We actually snuck into the theater, and that movie scarred me, you know, for for like a week. Well, you know, and that's was, what you, you get know, for shoot, cheating what? the system. Poor Hollywood. You owe Hollywood some money. I owe Hollywood nothing. I paid for another movie and saw this one. <laughs> so, oh, okay. um, all right. But I think we were like, it came out in what eighty seven. So we were like, you know, ten, eleven, whatever it was. <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, oh my gosh. So it is a sequel. Um, he is uh, adapting new types of weaponry and armor uh, for the Predator. They're kind of updating some things he said. He wouldn't get into too much details. Um, but his biggest uh, aspect of it was he was focusing on the story. Uh, he goes, you know, some of the other Predator, Alien vs. Predator, that kind of stuff, he was disappointed in. Um, he wanted to bring a lot of the fans back to the franchise with an awesome story. Okay. So yeah, so I'm really excited for it. Um, I mean, every time I look something up about it, um, either he gives an interview or someone else gives an interview and I'm I'm really stoked about it. Um, But he did mention Stan Winston's design, you know, from the, from the original uh, predator, Stan Winston was just a genius. He, He has since passed obviously, but, uh, uh, Stan Winston, Winston was a creature uh, creator designer, um, and he, he was the one who actually created the original Predator. <clears throat> you know, big old rah. Yes. So, um, yeah, so uh, John McTiernan did the original, I believe. Uh, oh, gosh, whatever. Yeah, so it's 30 years after. Um, yeah, so it, I'm really excited about this. And he mentions, um, funny enough, he mentions Deadpool a lot in his article. You know, the whole superhero okay. and, you know, horror stuff that's coming out already lately is really starting to draw fans in. He yeah. wants to make sure that the story is there for the fans. And so it really draws them in. Um, he even talked about having some funny aspects to the film. Yes. Which, hey, if you can add some comedy to Predator movie, fine. I'm, I'm, I'm still on board. Let's do it. So. Okay. Really excited. So this, uh, I believe this has a 2017. Is it? Release? Okay. All right. And they, they cast Holbrook, right? The same guy that is in Logan? I think so. Okay. Uh, which is kind of cool. And when you're speaking of R-rated, I mean, that's one of the ones that is R-rated, the Logan movie that we talked about last week. But 
or at least I did. You didn't hear. You didn't hear exactly. So, um, actually, but I, I was incorrect. It is it is March first, two thousand eighteen. So we oh, are okay. ways off. But okay. he's are yeah. He's they're developing the story, and you know he's making sure it's it's done correctly. Okay. Us. Well, and I just I just figured out what movie it is that you went to go see and lied about to go see Predator. It was um, Benji the Hunted. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh yeah in my my you know that's that's pretty good but yeah I, I, this one i'm looking forward to um the yeah, last predator yeah. movie was uh, okay yeah. <laughs> the last predator movie was okay um alien versus oh, predators predator. yeah that one was okay with, uh uh with uh what's his face um yeah yeah the guy from piano um uh yeah, yeah. brody adrian, adrian brody um adrian brody yeah yes. that one I, was I actually pretty liked good. it um i i liked the the us uh, you know update aspects of it of you know actually them collecting people from earth and bring them to an alien planet and just drop them in midair yeah because what that story um, is um oh gosh i mean it's used so many times i can't remember the original story but i mean the, um They've done it so many times, but this time using the predators to basically, no, we're swooping you up because you're basically training for us. Right. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm, yeah, I liked it. I did too. I enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty good. Um, but the first one, of course, will, will be the best. And hopefully this one is even better. And I would be kind of funny though, if we get a cameo from Arnold. Um, Run, go! Yeah, get to the chopper. Yeah, and hopefully he dies in it, you know, so we don't have to see him again. We just move on. Yeah. You know, maybe maybe they do it like um, when they did Rambo, uh, the the latest one. You know, where he already lives in Asia or whatever, and you know they bring him in to go and do stuff. But let's not get as much Arnold as we did Rambo, and we'll be okay. Okay, okay. okay. You know what I'm saying? All right, so. Um, for those of you who have been uh, living under that rock, I often talk about, um, if you didn't know, um, The Walking Dead premiered this past Sunday. Yes. How, I went, well, when did you stop watching? Uh, towards the end of season five. End of season five. Okay. Um, last season, pretty good. The way it ended, oh my gosh. Um, the way this one started, yeah, no, I've, I've no seen all in, the you know the the memes across yeah. Facebook, you know. No, no pun uh, intended, but he knocked it yeah. out of the park. Oh, oh yeah, my gosh! Because I wasn't sure if you wanted to do any spoilers or not. So. Uh, I I don't. Um, okay. Because you haven't seen it, and if you do go and see it, um, which I highly recommend, and you watch it, or at least watch the end of last season and this one. Yeah, I, I went online and I actually watched the the beatdown. The beatdown. <laughs> I was kind of, oh. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I know. Oh, my gosh. Hey, um, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, but the story oh we kind of want to get into is that it, the, the numbers of people that came to watch this, it was... Uh, about 17.2 million people tuned in to watch this. Now, this is a Sunday night. That is that is nice. And this basically, yeah. uh, it ties in, you know, with season five. Oh, well, like, hold on a second. Basically, it ties in season five premiere from 2014. So it's the same amount as it was when people wow. tuned in to see um, Tiramisu. No, Tiramisu. <laughs> Um, which that was kind of lame. I didn't see some Italian yeah. pie. Okay. Yeah. Well, Dessert. they were cooking, you know, but, um, it, which this one, I mean, so much better than that. I mean, holy cow, Negan's character. I mean, they're towing the line because if you've read the books, you know how bad he is. Um, you can only, well, this do is, so this much. is where, you know, you and I have actually regarding this topic are actually flipped because typically I'm the guy watching TV or movie and <laughs> reading the comics. And I'm the one reading the comics. Yes. So, and I'm I mean, the one watching that's the why, show. yeah, that's why I quit watching this show. I just kept reading the comics going, oh, the comics are so much better. Um, but uh, yeah, 
that's that's the, the reason I know I well I kind of knew what was what was coming up. Um, but of course, there's stuff in the comics that they, they haven't even done. No, the, uh, yeah, no, there's not. The and and the way they've done things in the show is twisting it. Um, you know, I mean, not to give too much away, but certain characters should have already been gone in the comics, but they haven't been in the show and vice versa and all that kind of stuff. Right. But the way they played this and there's episode, main characters in the, in the TV series that are never in the comics. Yeah, so. exactly. I mean, the way yeah. they played with it, um, I mean, it just blew me away. I mean, it was like one of those things where you're like, okay, I've got to go find something happy to watch. Uh, because I'm very sad right now and it's shock and awe because of, because <laughs> of how much of a downer this episode was, but it was so good. Um, yeah. so if you haven't seen it, you, you go back, watch the season finale of last season and watch this one. Um, holy cow, you know, and then you'd be like, okay, I'm in, I, I'm in regardless if you are reading or right. not, cause I'm not reading all mine are on the shelf. Because I'm like, I'm going to watch the show, then I'm going to go back, and then I'm going to, you know. I think when I stopped reading was when we got to the prison. And then I'm like, you know what, I'm going to take okay. a break, and I'm just going to watch the show. So then I can go back. Because, of course, yeah, everybody says, the, the, the book was better. Stuff, yeah, because, yeah. Yeah. you know, everybody says, the book was better. And it's like, okay, now I'll go back and go, oh, yeah, it was or it wasn't. You know, I'm sure there's going to be aspects. But um, holy cow, I mean... Let's see, it says viewership was up 16% uh, from the season six premiere and 20% wow. from the finale. That is huge. That's a huge increase in viewers. Yeah. That's a lot. Wow. I mean, when you got Jeffrey Dean Morgan, which I think is a great actor himself. I, I, you know, I think he's very underrated. I, I, yes. I really do. Yeah, I, I think do he's too. done a lot of stuff that's been really cool, um, almost cultish type, type following in, mm -hmm. in some cases. Yeah. Um, but uh, I think whatever he does is actually pretty good. I, I like how he plays his characters. Yeah. I enjoyed him as the comedian on Watchmen. Um, I yeah. enjoyed his and, – and here's one of the things that he said he'd like to do is that we saw him in the Batman Superman. Uh, he was Bruce Wayne's father. Now, if they splinter off and do a flashpoint, he says, hey – um, I'm ready for Batman because that's who Batman is in Flashpoint. It's the yeah, dad. That's right. So, yeah. you know, and it's like, oh my gosh, he would the, be amazing. The alcoholic gun toting Batman. Yes, that would be yeah. awesome. And he would be perfect. I just, so I've liked everything that he's done. I think so too. But his Negan role, <laughs> oh my gosh, he is amazing. So I, I am so looking forward to the rest of this season. So. I'm I'm still disappointed in the whole fear of the Walking Dead. You know, you know, so I got am into I. Season one so heavily. Yeah, and the funny thing is that my wife got into it, okay. and I thought, oh my gosh, sweet, my wife's gonna sit down and watch, you know, this this show with me. And then yeah. we both started season two. And in the first episode, she went, okay, you're on your own. <laughs> oh, wow, thanks, babe. Yeah, uh, I'm done. Second episode, I went, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm counseling this crap. Yeah, it was. So. It, it is. It got really bad. Um, you know, that's uh, just high hopes for it. Yeah. I mean, if you think about where it was, I mean, what they were doing, they were telling kind of a different story for the time period that you missed from when Rick got shot, went in his coma and woke up. Right. Um, but yeah, it just got really pathetic um, in what they were doing and how they were doing it. And I just got bored with it too. I probably watched half of the first season and I'm just like, okay, let's go, let's do something. And I'm like, there's too many other good things to watch. So I'm not watching this anymore. So, but speaking of what you're watching, um, what are you watching? What are you watching? I'm watching you right now. <laughs> but what's what, what's what's on the boob tube of this boobies uh, um i'll let you talk i'll shut up <laughs> uh, oh my god this is what 24 okay. years of friendship does to you <laughs> yeah i know uh, oh. <laughs> Um, you know, and, 
go ahead and laugh. I'm still watching the voice. <laughs> nay, nay, boo, boo. Oh. Stick your head in doo doo. Yeah, no, that's that's um, cute. Of course. Uh, hey, you know the wife and I like it, man. Okay, you yeah. know, all right, all right. Get over it. We have our guilty pleasures. We all have them. Yeah. Uh, I'm still doing, uh, still watching Star Wars Rebels, of course. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, it's my addiction, and yeah, I mm-hmm. love it. Uh, Conviction with uh, Haley Atwell, uh, still on board with it so far. Okay. Um, I think the last episode was a little kind of, eh, uh, okay. but uh, I'm still liking, still liking it so far. We'll see where it goes. Um, of course, still hooked on uh, Westworld. <sighs> Yes, which will spoil oh it soon. My <laughs> God! Yes. Did you watch it today, or did you watch it a couple days ago? I watched it today. I, I watched it today too. Oh my gosh! Yeah, uh, I was like texting you. <laughs> Can't wait to talk about it. So, yep, yeah. Um, and then uh, I finished. I, I I told you earlier that I just finished reading reading the uh, the Revenant. That's kind of a lie. I finished rereading it. Uh, oh, okay. Because I, I read it, and then I wanted to see the movie, and then I saw the movie finally last week. Um, I don't know why I waited so long. Um, and then I reread the book. Okay. And so when I reread it, I was, I was watching the movie kind of going, I don't know, what? what's going on? I don't get it. What? This wasn't in the book. Um, so, yeah, they, they totally distorted the storyline from the original book they okay. kept most of it the general kind of idea um but then they added stuff to the movie i was kind of going uh you didn't need it gotcha didn't need it yeah it's in my queue yeah. i haven't seen it yet it's it's a good movie um i'm not sure if he was deserving of the oscar okay um i mean it was a good movie okay the wife was a little grossed out about it. She's like, oh my God, yeah, what are we that's watching? What I hear. Um, so, but uh, from what I understand, because I've read other books um, about that kind of time period, it, it was, I think, pretty accurate. Okay. Because um, it especially does, you know, and here it is right here. <laughs> so, punk. Um, good book. Okay. I was actually. Um, I'm going to be a weenie here. Uh, I was going to give you this when you arrived today. I know. I'm sorry. Stupid flight. I didn't. So. I know. I should be sitting actually me. next to you, not next to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so you actually would have seen this hand reach across and smack and... me in the head. <laughs> I was actually going to do that. So. Oh, man. Uh, I was looking forward to that. Um, kind of stinks. Yeah. So I think that's everything. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well. Yeah. I, like you, am watching Rebels, which the last episode was um, very cool. Um, yeah, I, I like that it was closure. a, yeah, kind of a closure, but also a sideline story. Yes. So uh, I when they aired that. the uh, the teaser, I thought for sure we were going to see HK-47. Oh, which would have been awesome. Yeah, but it, it would have gotten, I think, a lot more intense. So. Yes, Probably. So I, but I liked it. It it closed out the Clone Wars um, very nicely, I think. And so I watched that, and I've been watching that. Of course, we just already said I'm walking. I've watched The Walking Dead. Um, I'm watching The Flash. Um, I have about to watch Arrow. I just finished season two of Dark Matter. Oh, did you? Yes, I did. Finally got. I like that cliffhanger. Uh, yeah. Okay. I feel the same way as you did. I'm like, eh, really? Um, it kind of fell apart so at the end. Pissed. Yeah. Those last two episodes were kind of like. Uh, so uh, we'll see. The the rest of the series was great, but these last two se- episodes. Oh yeah. Just kind of fell flat for me. Um, so. I love that show. This is like it's a good show. Know, one of my favorites. Yeah. It's a good show. Um, so I've watched that, of course, watching uh, Westworld. But one of the shows that are on my, is on my radio, the radar that I'm hearing good things about that I'm going to try and go back and see if I can catch is on Fox. Uh, they had the TV version of The Exorcist, and I hear good things about it. So I'm going to go Ooh. jump it. Yeah, so I think they're in like four or five episodes, and I can get it on my uh, Apple TV because they're still available to watch. And I'm going to go and jump in and see what it's like. 
So I'm very curious on that one. Um, and then on my shopping list is uh, Ahsoka. I want to read it. You you just posted your article the other day on the, the review of the book, and I, I need to go get that book because I am very curious on everything that happens with her because you and I, in our pretend show last week, um, we did talk about, you gave a little, yeah, that's exactly what it looked like. Um, you know, we talked a little bit about it and touch base on a few things. And then now your article is up. I'm just, I want to go and read that book. Yeah. And I, I, I tried my hardest to stay, you know, spoiler free because there is a lot of things. I, I think that as a, and I, I noted this in the article that if you are a, just a Star Wars fan, number one, if you were a, a fan, even a mild fan of the Star Wars Clone Wars TV series. Yeah. You're, you're going to love the book. Okay. It, it really ties in a lot of stuff that, you know, it explains what she's been up to. Um, and of course, you know, I, I mentioned a few different details um, that, you know, the whole celebration, how, you know, fans were having these Ahsoka Lives Day. Um, okay. And yeah, they, I mean, these fans were just, you know, bombarding, you know, the, the manufac toy manufacturers um, and everyone else about, hey, look, you know, give us an action figure. Yeah. Uh, give us, you know, something, give us a book, you know, introduce her to somewhere. And then of course, when they introduced her to Star Wars Rebels, I were kind of went, Oh my gosh. Yes. Mm -hmm. So um, there's a lot of unanswered questions that if you don't already know, you get answered. Okay. All right. So, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued. It's, it's a character that continued to grow with me as we went and saw you know, when the Clone Wars movie came out, we went and saw it at the theater and yeah. feeling a little disappointed. We're like, this could have just gone straight to video. Um, yeah. And then they started this series. That character over time grew on you. And as we got towards the end and then, you know, it just she walked away. It ended. We're like, oh, I want more. What? Yeah, I want more. Yeah. And then introducing her back into Rebels. Um yeah, I'm I'm intrigued with this one. It's one of uh, my daughter's favorite characters. Um, she loves those the the women characters. You know, I mean, she likes Hera. Of course, she likes Leia. Um, and, but she she likes Ahsoka. When we play Disney Infinity, she goes straight to Ahsoka, and uh, and and plays that character like crazy. So, yeah, I want to read it. So it's on my it's on my shopping list. All right. Yeah. So. yeah I mean, I, I should I should mention though is that something I I have been very impressed with uh, Disney and Del Rey is that they've they've done a good job in tying up a lot of loose ends that I think a lot of fans had. Okay. Um, one of which being Ahsoka, another um, being uh, oh gosh, not Star Wars Sis, but the other one with uh, the guy with the yellow stripe across his face. Oh yeah, the Dark Disciples. Um, I'm totally drunk. The Voss, yeah, Dark Disciples. Because Voss you know. is a Voss yeah. is probably, I mean, he's like he's like the new Boba Fett. You know, it's like you don't know right. fully about him. He's very intriguing. You know, they even have that slight cameo with him in, you know, uh, the prequels of him sitting, you know, with the Doug, and he's in the background. Um, yeah, they yeah. touch base with him in the comics. Uh, that character just yeah, because he was an undercover uh, undercover Jedi, mm -hmm. basically. So yeah, yeah. Um, but of course, it, I was going to mention this is you know Ventress. You know yes. they tied they finally tied her up. You know not literally, <laughs> but uh, you know they they ended that story. Man, I think they ended it uh, quite well. Okay. You know, Ventress has been one of my favorites. You know in the Clone Wars, um, I just I just I've always enjoyed it. And then of course when the when the book came out, you know I I love the cover art of it. Yeah, I love where she went with it. You know, she really redeemed herself. Um, you know, and if you have not read that book, you need to read it. Yeah, that's that's all, that's on my shelf. It's uh, well, no, I take that back. It's in a box because still haven't fully moved in. Everywhere. Why you lie? So why you lie? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but that's that's on my reading I... list as well. So um, yeah, and then the next book that comes out is Catalyst, uh, which is a Rogue One tie-in, mm -hmm. right? So. Yep. wait and see that review review but um 
Yeah, that's... Thank God it's not a Windig book. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that's true. We're, we're... I cringe when I have to read his work. You know that? I, I, I really I do. Yeah. Well, I grab the book and I go, ah. Oh. Yeah, his writing style is something to be desired. Um, so, we'll see. But, yeah, I'm looking forward to... to to everybody that they're bringing back into the fold of writer. So it's, it's back in some good hands. So, but that, that's our show for the night. Um, If you have any comments, concerns, whatever it may be, you know, click the link down below. uh, Let us know um, what you guys are thinking. Um, I'm Simon. You can find me on Twitter at C underscore collectible. Um, You can find us all on our Instagram. Same thing. Um, on our website, Constant Collectible, and uh, where can they find you? Uh, you can find me on Twitter at uh, Chad Griffin Twelve. You can find me on Instagram at DJ Kilt, and of course at ConstantCollectible.com. Yeah. So thanks for watching. And I am Chad Goody Goodwin. Yes. Yes, Chad Goody Goodwin, but he lies. You lied, not me. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you next week. Bye. Take care. Thank you.